Welcome to Return O Israel and part three of our four-part interview with Baruch Gordon, founder of Israel National News, Israel's third largest English news site, as we join him at his home in Bethel. Baruch, please give our audience some insight as to the facts on the ground of what is happening in Israel today regarding the two-state proposal of dividing the land between Jews and Arabs. And what are the real possibilities of Jewish sovereignty over all of Israel right now? Today there's talk still when you go to international forums of the two-state solution being severing part of the land of Israel, namely Judea and Samaria, giving it to a Palestinian entity and living two nations side by side. There's a lot of talk, and I emphasize the word talk about that, because simultaneously there's a lot of people and academics and statesmen who have come to realize today already saying it's beyond, it's no longer viable to have a Palestinian state. It, forget about it. Even the son of Mahmoud Abbas, Mahmoud Abbas is the head of the Palestinian Authority. His son, whose name is either Tariq or Tafek, one of those names, uh, he's a businessman in his late 50s in Ramallah, and he says, he has an argument with his father. He says, his father says we need a Palestinian state. And he says, I, he told the New York Times, he says, I tell him, Look, just drive around, look at the cranes going, look at all the construction and all the settlements, what they call settlements. He says, forget about it, it's not going to take place, it's not going to happen. You're talking in a, in a bubble, just look at the facts on the ground. And I think these facts on the ground, for example, there's a book that just came out less than a month ago uh, by a University of Pennsylvania professor, and it's called something like Two State, uh, Two State Dream uh, Goes to One State Reality, something like that. And he's just writing about the fact that it's over and we should now face the facts on the ground and begin to think, what next? So I think that um, the world will eventually catch up to the facts on the ground that we're creating here. They're going to wake up and smell the coffee and say, okay, all right, there's not going to be a Palestinian state. I really don't think there is going to be. I think, and, and it's a struggle. It's a struggle in many ways because there's a lot of forces gravitating against us. And, uh, but we're winning. I, I really feel that we're winning. And it's not only that we're winning, there's a lot of people that stand with us. So it's not when you talk about or the Goim, when you talk about Israel being a light unto the nations. So there's a lot of people in the nations out there who are very much in tune with that, with that theme. And I imagine a lot of the viewers on this uh, wonderful website that Anthony and you have uh, are, are uh, in tune with that. And these are people who are standing with God. These are people that understand God's plan. They read the, ta the Tanakh, the, the, the Bible. They read the prophecies. And it's just a monumental thing to live in this era and realize just a hundred years ago, there was nothing here. There was nothing. It was so little in, in Israel. It was just this crazy dream of a guy named Herzl, maybe 120 years ago, talking about the Jews coming home. What are you talking about? Like there's, there's no way that's going to happen. And today, to see the vibrant um, country that's developed. So the first part of our struggle was reaching in the 1948 war and establishing our presence there. Our independence war continues uh, and that continued in 1967 when we liberated these territories of Judea and Samaria where we're sitting now. And uh, it's just a continuation of our struggle for independence. And I really believe that there's a lot of people out there that are um, praying for us and our sources, the Jewish sources, namely the Vilna Gaon, writes in a huge masterpiece, a huge work. He takes from all the Jewish sources and writes about the redemption of Israel, how it's going to happen. And he says it's going to happen through development of Jerusalem and purchasing the lands and settling the lands and building houses in the lands. And he says another thing that, that uh, will power it forward. And he says that's prayer that it succeed. And a lot of Jews certainly pray for that. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that are not Jews that also pray for that. And this is something that I want to say because there's sources that say that women's prayer is very valuable. That if a woman sheds a tear for the sake of Zion, a woman sheds a tear for the sake of the Israel Defense Forces winning in their battles against forces of evil that are trying to uh, block us and harm us. A woman who sheds a tear if she opens the book of Psalms and reads to God uh, asking that he bring blessing to the, the agriculture in the land of Israel, that rains come down in Israel, anything to promote, anything to, to propagate this, this process forward. It says in uh, Psalms chapter, I believe it's 56 verse 9, it says that God takes these tears and he puts them in a node, a node is a flask or a bottle, and he counts them. And this is our 
nuclear arsenal against all the forces that gravitate against us. And that's something that you, the Christians, the Jews around the world, women, when they're stopping, taking part of their day, turning off the reality show on TV, and they're just, just fellowshipping with God, opening their hearts and saying, help, the, help Zion, help the Jewish people, help Bar Gordon and Beitel, <laughs> we're building the land. It's so hard, it's so hard. Financially, it's hard. Um, there's, it's, to get the building permits is hard. There's uh, lawsuits that George Soros uh, sends lawyers to, to stop us. We've had to take down some buildings. So all of these things, there's battles, there's, 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 there's physical battles of, of rocks and mild of cocktails and, and, and terrorism. All of these things, when people around the world are praying for Zion, our sources tell us that that is one of the things that's moving us forward more than anything else. We know you have a choice, and so we thank you for joining us for part three of our four-part interview with Baruch Gordon of Israel National News. Be sure to join us for the fourth and last segment and if you would like to find out more about how you can support the Jewish restoration and sovereignty, please contact me at our website. You can also help by sharing this interview with family and friends and by signing up for our emails and notifications. Once again, thank you for joining us and God bless you richly. Anthony Abma for Return of Israel.